Okay. So thank you very much for everybody wanting this because you were the inspiration. It all started with me being inspired by Hugging, hugging Face. And now you said, well, even though you are keep saying, you continuously saying that finally it's easy, right? And I still say that. I still think it is finally easy. But you still wanted to do it together. Let's go together. Let's do those things. Let's do a webinar. And so right now we have nine webinars planned. And uh, I'll tell you how it all came up. It came up as a course, okay, course for one of the companies that will teach for. And uh, they wanted the advanced, most advanced uh, uh, machine learning, right? So I'm still letting other people like that. They all the version of Zoom cannot can connect. Okay, okay. So the, the I, I immediately thought, oh, they should get the hugging face because I wanted to learn more about hugging face myself. I was already using it to some degree, and uh, yes, they wanted this course. It's like that. You offer them something, and they either take it or they don't. And in the end, I did teach it once. It was uh, okay, it was very reasonable. Uh, uh, this is a very picky client. So if you don't teach well, uh, you get a bad review. That's always the trouble with the training. Okay, in any case, everything went well. I'm going to teach more of that same for them. And I thought indeed, if people wanted, let's do it together. So I have a vested interest, I am, training myself how to train and hugging face and you are also benefiting okay that's all that's all that i need to tell you about the course and now i'll give you the link now let's see if you i can share the screen okay here's the screen and here is the uh the plan that's our plan webinar so what i will give you is a link that should be open let's verify that it is open yes anybody with the link can have it so that's the link i usually call it the run so here is the chat mm. Okay, everybody gets that link. So you can open that link. Once you open it, you will see our plan. That actually is the plan of the class. And I will change it a little bit as we go because class is much more formal. And here we are, we're all friends. I can make any mistake that I want. You can say anything that you want. So all together will be a Happily, we go around the bush, right? And we will be uh, doing exercises and uh, mistakes are allowed. Now, we're going to talk about mostly hugging face. The original class, it also had the ideas that deep learning and advanced programming. I will show you some of that because I like to assume that everybody knows as much as I do and more. And sometimes people don't necessarily know that I know, like I don't know what you guys know. So no, I will okay. go. Okay, I will go through the class, through the add constant of that. And I'm experimenting with how can I see that? Well, if you want to talk, you can talk. Okay, so I will do this. But first of all, let me uh, tell you the plan of the plan. Okay, what we're going to do is this. Okay. 
Okay, you see my screen. So that's the plan. And the plan is that hugging faces super simple. Okay. Uh, now to prove that point, I will show you some of the previous technologies, how they work. Inside of everything is still a neural network. Inside of the neural networks, we're still talking about TensorFlow as the first implementation. But Hugging Face is all built on a kind of neural network that is different from all the other neural networks and that's called transformers. So when you look at what the Hugging Face want to tell you, uh, they will tell you, oh, transformers is just neural networks, very large ones, but really they are very different. So they assume that you came to learn about transformers and they don't go into history. I do a little bit, much less than uh, for the formal class, but still I do go a little bit. So first of all, you got the link. That link I gave you on the chat right here there was the link and does everybody has that link let me give it to you again that's our class run everybody has that the second thing that i want to give you are all of the materials that is found right here right here and uh, but that's all, that's the complete thing. So let me give you the link. But it really is there on the run class. So I'm giving you the link, giving it to you again, right here. Okay, but it is in the run class. If we go and here, we we'll look at the run. here this is in the run the webinar run so in this webinar run there is my name mark uh, the date of the class december 8th the next one will be december 16th and i see on our schedule that we plan for nine such classes we are from 12 to 1 central time and this is the material so i gave you that link but really you already have it now, the second thing that I'll give you are the labs. And you don't even have to record any of that because it's here. Now, that link probably won't disappear uh, for a certain time, so you don't have to record it. Then I will also give you the virtual machines, very nice. But I may not even give them to you today. We'll see about this because, well, the secret that I will give you away is this. If you go to Hugging Face, and that's a Hugging Face, dot co, but of course, Google will help you. So I'm logged in into their site. I have an account, but if you don't have one, it's still okay. I'm trying to see where do I click there is no home it seems in any case i'll show you what this site is about the site has the documentation right here and in documentation it has what they call a training course the course they call it so let's find it No, actually it is uh,
layer, I typed course slash under the name, and I got to the first page of the course. So that is exactly complete information. And I'm not saying anything that is not in that course. Uh, that's the secret. The client doesn't know that. But I'm going through that course, copying it to my site, and that's how this course comes about. Plus, I also help you. We do it together. That's nice. That is why it's here. Plus, they will start teaching you hugging face. They will not talk about what the, was there before. And I do. That is all that you need. I'll pause right here before I start with the first slide. Any questions? Okay. You know to ask questions whenever you have to. So I don't even have to ask any questions. Okay, so this is the slides. You can get all of the slides from the website. So that one link, which is I call the run, this one, is the only thing that you need because from there you can download all the slides. Now I can go through the slides and talk about the, what is this course about and then how we're going to approach it. So this is our standard first page here. Let me go with, with the slideshow. Right. As I showed you, it was called Deep Learning and Advanced Applications. It's really a hugging face. And maybe the last time that I mentioned this, it's extremely easy. Today, those advanced applications are easier than ever before. In fact, I can use them. So that's what we'll be talking about. And in the beginning, we'll talk about deep learning, CNN, RNN, but I will not talk too much about them, even though it looks like it takes the first day, but it really takes a few minutes. And then we start transformers. Transformers are all that a phase, a hugging phase is about. So that's a new type of neural network. And in fact, the book that just recently came out, I'll show you what this book is. Amazon. Um, um, books, of course. Oh, I don't need these transformers. Well, we do maybe, but not today. In book. No, I'm amazed. That's the one. I think I should give you that book. Okay, so I'm in the link. So I'm giving you the link. I only copy that part that you really need for that. Here it is. It tells you that I purchased the book. So I'm putting that also on our webinar. And that's right here, book. Now, the book is written by the same person who is running the course. In fact, he has tremendous experience in writing courses. So uh, he is just the right person. So uh, that's where the hugging face starts at Transformers. And the basic idea is this, first of all, will give you the new kind of tool called Transformers. Second of all, we'll give you a, a hangout place. Okay. That will be Hugging Face itself. So just as uh, everybody who uses GitHub comes to GitHub and that's where you are. Well, in the same way, everybody who is doing Transformers comes to Hugging Face. And as you can see, they have accomplished the amazing thing. They actually created 
the world of uh, machine learning all over again. So you will probably eventually log in to Hugging Face, create a free account there, right here. And probably even find the course, or you will just do that in our learning sessions together. So that's what you need to do. And then you will uh, get a ready to run model. They have probably 100,000 models for you to run for free, for free. And in fact, you can run it in the free environment of uh, Google, Google Colab. So out of the box machine learning is solved by hugging face. Let's go back to this hugging face, okay? And in addition to those lectures, you will also see that you can click and run. It will say run on Google Colab. I'm going to give you the actual virtual machines because if you run on Google Colab, this is too much magic. When you know what's going on, that's okay to use magic, but otherwise you won't have the understanding. So that is what we do. Well, let's not jump around. I said that they give you a place to hang out and that's where you store your model. I wanted to go back and just find the models right here, models, and see how much models there. 97,000, right? Anything that you want to search for, the model will be there. That's how you do it. They have also collected the data sets. 15, almost 16,000 data sets. So this is an enormous collection, right? An enormous organization now. So if you didn't know about this, it was worth coming to today's webinar just for that. Here is your final destination. Okay, and moreover, if you log in, now that I did because I logged in, you wouldn't have this uh, complete, uh, some of that is public, but uh, my own models are here because I'm logged in, only two models. So what you do is you grab the free 98,000 models and run with them. But when you want more than this, then you can uh, uh, change the model, train it some more and the keys some more because they already trained. You train it according to what you need and you save this model here. This is how it becomes like a GitHub because you can, uh, just like your code, you can check it out and you can submit your own personal code in here. So here too, with Hugging Face, you take the models, you modify them and you store it back on Hugging Face. Okay, that is it now. Uh, I also go through all of these, how to fine tune. That is what I said, that you modify it a little bit and put it back. That tells you how you do it. From here on, maybe it's not so obvious. I said that it is very easy. Yes, it is very easy when you don't fine tune them. If you take them out of the box, they are there for you. And you save tremendously on using the existing model. You save $50,000, $100,000, that's how much it takes to actually train that thing. But from here on, it will be not or everything of this. So we'll talk about how you fine tune the model. How can you share the models with other people if you want to? And uh, what are the main NLP tasks, natural language processing tasks that you can do with this? And, yes, yes. Anybody who wants to talk, please talk. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got called away to a meeting at the first of this. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm interested in hearing the first of it and some of your other stuff. Is that available somewhere? Or, or is, it the... is recorded. So <laughs> you will get the complete recording. Okay. Uh, does that answer your question? It does. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay. You're very welcome. And finally, they will teach you politeness. How do you get around on this community? How do you politely ask questions so that they don't ban you? 
That is the content of the course, and I hope to cover all, all of that in nine sessions, today being the first one. So we do assume basic machine learning, but not really, because everything is explained, so you can disregard this. Uh, the Python environment, even if you don't know Python, you can teach it to a child. Well, that's why it's the most popular language in the world today. And uh, uh, I'll, I'll show you. I'll give you a machine actual, and we'll uh, show you exactly how you uh, set it up. Okay, and I assume you have curiosity because you wouldn't come to this if you didn't have a uh, you're not being paid, I'm not being paid, so everybody is uh, friendly and curious. That's what the course is about. Uh, it's all about understanding things. You can do miracles. You don't need thousands of programmers today. Uh, you reuse other people's knowledge. So that's how it is. Knowledge is free. And uh, this funny picture shows that sometimes you don't know where to start. It's all very nice you hear and you read that Hugging face is extremely simple, but exactly what you do for that, we have the labs and it's just in learning to fly. You can listen or you can do something and that's the end result. So I cannot, don't have the luxury to ask you, tell me all about yourself, but please uh, put anything you want on the chat. So that is the usual uh, introduction to our courses. And now we're going to do the second thing. And the second thing, I want you to do something. I don't want you to listen or watch the magic. So what I will do is I give everybody a virtual machine. Pretty powerful virtual machine. And how many people do we have by now? I think I can look at all the participants. We have 23 participants. That was exactly my estimate. So that's what I'm going to do. I will create 23 machines and that may not work perfectly. Let's see how that works. But I will give you those virtual machines and then everybody will become um, uh, an editor on that file and you will be putting your name into the virtual machine and that way you will grab them let me show you how i'm starting those virtual machines because that may be interesting to you and for that i use uh, terraform now terraform is also a, a genius company and they have created many things one of them is exactly that terraform and here is the script that i'm using this script allows me to create as many virtual machines as I want on Amazon. Tell its size, tell how many, and it will uh, work pretty fast because it creates all of them in parallel. And I will give you those machines. To do this, I wrote the script, at least that I did, but I used other examples. So I'm saying Terraform apply. Let's see. Since I didn't give it the size, I commented the size out right here, all right? Then I will give it the size. He doesn't want to copy. Okay, copied. What's the size or what's the instance type? It's C5, 2X large. Well, it's not humongous, but it's still pretty good because you need a lot for machine learning. And secondly, let's put 25, 25 students. After that, it says, do you really mean it? There you are. It says, do you really mean it? And please answer yes. If you really want to be serious, don't say yeah. Okay, yes. So it is going to create these machines. When it does this, I hope that it will be able to create 25, no less. There you are. It's working. When it does this, let me show how it creates them. That's not part of Hugging Face, but I really find it interesting. So I'm logging into uh, my 
Amazon. Okay, I'm going to the Ohio region. I'm looking for EC2. And there you are, you see, there were some machines already running, plus it added those 25. You see it's initializing them. I think that's pretty magical, even though Hugging Face admittedly is better. But who knows, today's evaluation of Hugging Face is 2 billion, and uh, uh, Terraform actually went public. It's called HashiCorp, and it is, I think, also about 2, million, 2 billion. So uh, they're comparable in size. Now let's go back. It's already done. You see, while I entertain you with these conversations, it was right here. And let me take this. Oh, no. I tell you what you need to do with them. Okay, that's our run. So I will create a little file called VM. Check your universe. Genome. Okay. Okay. Here it is. I will call it VM. And I will share it with everybody for right access. So I hope nobody is going to erase all of them, for example, or do something um, of that sort. But now you're becoming an editor. Okay, so please uh, put your name, I think. I think that would work where you have the student choose your number and uh, i want to see the first one person to to do it i see somebody raises the hand okay but i really want you to see and uh, put in your name okay there you are so far should he get student five so first of all, I'll tell you what you do with them. And secondly, I'll tell you my plans for these machines because they will not be here forever. But let us say uh, I put myself as the last. So I'm 24, I mark. What I need to do is find this machine number 24. It is right here. Okay, and that's the IP. So I will put this IP into a tab in the browser and notice that I didn't do the HTTPS. That would give me some trouble. I'm not pretending that I'm secure. I'm a normal person and that's how I log in. Okay, now I need to get my password and the password is found right here. Wonderful. I see Charles, Arij, Chon, Hon. Okay, Farshid. PCM, Lola. Okay, I'm generous. I'm giving all the machines even though they're not used. Uh, but then I take the password and that is the password. That's my password. Okay. And that password is going right here. Okay, that's all. Now, what I want to do with these machines is this. Uh, I will ask you to install Python. Python, I will install with Anaconda. In other words, it's your machine. You can open the browser. Let's open the browser. Like this. And the first time it opens, it takes a little time because it looks around, but after that, it will be fast. Remember that it is uh, C5, so it's it's eight, eight CPUs. 
So you will find Anaconda installed on Ubuntu and you will just install it. Now, it will take you a few minutes. Anaconda install is very thorough. It is the easiest way to install. Of course, uh, somebody may know an easier way to install, but Anaconda always works. Yes, yes, here are the links. If you look in VM, that's where VMs are. I'll put that link on our run as well. This is our run. And it's, let me refresh. It's here, right here. That's the VM. So if you click on that, you will open this. And here you will assign yourself a machine that you want. And from then on, you'll find what is the IP of your machine. And accordingly, there will be the password here. Now, I should have done it all together in one line. I separated the number, the IP, and the password into three columns just because I didn't know how to do it right in, um, in Terraform. So maybe I'll get better next time. So you, you, you really should have just uh, 25 entries with the, the name, password, and IP. But it's doable, okay? Now, what I want to, to ask you to do is Yes, you will install uh, uh, it on here. And I won't keep that machines uh, through the week. Through the week, it will go down. So there should be one simple install, uh, graphical install. Please don't do anything. installation, Anaconda install for Linux. That's what I'm asking you to do. Just do the Anaconda install for Linux. It will download and run. Nothing at all more complex than this. Here we are, download and save it. Okay, after that, you will double click and it will install. Now, we will have to set up our machine every time because I'll have to throw them away. Unfortunate. But on the other hand, practice. That will be great practice for you. And next time you'll do it and not in five minutes, but in four. So that's how I'm going to use those machines. Now, later on, as you will see, there will be many different ways how you can install. For example, you don't have to install at all you can run it straight on um, Google Colab. But I specifically didn't want to do Google, Google Colab because it will be too magical and uh, you will not learn much. That's why I'm giving you real machines with real installs. You'll know how to install it on every other similar machine. Okay. And now that it's here, You will install it by running it right there. I'm here on the command line. I'm going to the download. I'm saying change mode plus X Anaconda. And I'm running this Anaconda install dot slash Anaconda. Yes. From then on, 
you will accept all of the default. And even though we're not going to do many labs today, but that's the first step. So I'll let you play with this as I will continue with the slides because I want to give you enough introduction to make it interesting and enticing. Uh, but first of all, you have those notions. Now let it work. It will take about five minutes and you will have it. Now I see that some questions and answers, please uh, just ask. And, and you did, you already did. Okay, so that's the first step that I want you to do so that you have a plan of what we are going to do. Let's go back to the slides. And I hope I'm not too fast, not jumping around and not confusing you. So what we do next is uh, talk a little bit about uh, about Facebook, uh, hugging face, because I have yet another slide back here. But I don't really want to confuse me with too much. So no, instead we will go straight into hugging face and uh, we'll give you an introduction to what this is. So a little bit of history will come later on. And while it is installing your Python, we can look at uh, what's the story with the hugging face and what's the story with transformers. So I'm ready to start this story of transformers. Let's see if we have any questions. Is everything working for you? Yes, Nakshatra. So what you do is first of all, you get one and only one link that you need. It is found right here. I call it the run. Class uh, webinar run on this here. So that is the first and only link that you need. I'm giving that to you here and I'm putting it on chat. Okay, hey, I'm also putting it on chat here. Well, webinar link. That's the webinar link. That's the only one that you need. I'm planning to make a Bitly link out of it. So as I'm going, I'm planning to simplify it for the future, but that's the only link that you would need. If you... Right? If you go into this link, you will see that it has the link to all of the materials, all of the labs, the book, that's very useful, but we're not going to go through that book at all because they made it super easy. And then I'm skipping some of that stuff. You see, first, they were neural networks. So that explains how they were. Then they were a special kind of neural network, especially for pictures and picture understanding. They're still there, they're still for pictures, but again, we will not going to do them because transformers are make it easier. And then there was the RNN, another kind of neural network. And then we come to the fact that from then on, there is a new kind of neural network called transformers. So we skip all of the previous ones and just jump into transformers. It's enough to know that the previous ways were too complex. Now, even though if you look in the some webinar, they will tell you, oh, TensorFlow is easy. Anybody can do it. We Google are trying to uh, democratize machine learning, but Google just said it. And uh, um, Hugging Face did it. And the proof 
of that is that all of them use it now. Google and Microsoft and Facebook, they all use uh, Hugging Face. That has become the standard. Okay, that is the story. And we are going to install the Hugging Face. And uh, I don't think that we will necessarily have uh, the first lab, but the lab is just as easy as to say, hey, Hugging Face, I want a summary of the text. So therefore, create a certain object called the pipeline. Tell it what you want. Say, I want a summary of the text. And then second line, here's the text, pipeline, give me the answer. This is how all of the uh, hugging phase labs will be until it comes to improve the models. But even out of the box, they're amazing. There are 90,000 of them. Well, I, I think I can ask you for any question now. No questions. Well, that's good because that means that I didn't say anything that surprised you. So let's see, how was my install going? Okay, it's finished, right? It finished, it, it didn't ask for any anything else. Do I want to run? Uh, uh, initialize conda, yes, whatever they ask, I say yes. Okay, done. Now let's try to say Python. Okay, now conda is magical, but it still didn't replace my old Python. So I could either say Python 3 or better yet, I can do the one command install. That is found in lab number one. So lab number one is uh, in our run is right here. Okay, that's our run. And truth is that we skipped a lot, but then we came to the first lab. This one, that's the one we were doing. So let us open and go there. <coughs> and see what it yeah. tells us to do. Um, excuse me for one second. Yes, please. I'm very sorry about this. I'm just having a little bit of trouble. Um, do you know how to get the IP address on the Macintosh? The reason why is I keep getting 192 and I don't see, I keep getting a number that starts with 192 and I don't see my IP address in the list of everyone's IP. Do you want to share your screen? That will be the easiest. Oh, sure. Yes, thank you very much. I'm very sorry for interrupting. I just well like that's what we're question. here for a friendly bunch of people first of all i should stop sharing this is yours good okay. how, how do i sh um give me one quick second i raise my mm -hmm. hand recording i got i uh, how do i sh where, where do i share from uh well it's at the bottom of the screen at the bottom of uh, zoom okay all and... i got is chat lower hand and question and answer mute on the left and leave on the right I have more, I have share screen. Let me see, Charles. Let's see, Charles, more. Okay, maybe I- oh, There you go. Click, uh -huh. Because I clicked on- The host would like to promote you to the panelist. I'm gonna maybe. join it. Mm -hmm. So I can uh, allow everybody who needs to share the screen do this i i see some interesting question let me address them not right now but let me address them at the end okay charles this is your screen and who uh, asked you to go there when did you need this? How did it happen? Okay, uh, which one? I see you have the list of VMs. Which one is yours? Okay, that's number one. Okay, so let's put it in the browser. Okay. So put it in the browser here. 
yes. Okay. Now we'll be careful to remove the quotes and the comma at the end. There you are, right? Now look at the top right. Yes, right. And you see access via plain HTTP. Click on that. Okay, click on this and finally get your password, which is the first password in the list right here. Yes, exactly. Again, without the quotes, take that password. Yes. Yeah. That's all. So it probably because of some quotes that it led you to uh, to do this manipulation on the Mac, but as you can see, you don't have it. You don't have to do it. So probably for your ease of use, you'll make it as big as you can. But right now, all you need to do is start the browser, find the uh, Anaconda and install it. And now you started your Mac browser and you need to start the uh, VM browser. And for that, you need to go to the top left, click on applications, left, top left. Yes, applications and browse, web browser, just a bit higher here, it will work. Okay, from then on, you're in a normal situation, you're browsing, you're trying to find how to install Anaconda on Ubuntu, and it will help you. I will keep those machines for an hour, guys. After we're done, I will keep it for an hour, I'll let you play with it, right? I cannot keep it for a long, long time, but you know, at least an hour, maybe even more. Okay, all right, so that's good. Charles, are you satisfied? Let's assume that yes. If so, I will go and share my screen. Okay, and what I was saying is that first of all, you have the run. That will help you a lot through those sessions that we plan. I have the run here. Where is my run? I, I do have one quick question. Yes. Okay, it sounds like should we, before the class starts, should we basically go to our VM and, you know, initialize it, you know, get it set up before the class, every, before every class, you think? I think it's a good idea. Good. Right. That's what I'll do. So I can start those machines. I didn't want to do it because I didn't know how many people there will be. But let us assume there won't be ever more than 25. So I can always start 25. And uh, maybe it, you will do good if you will. Uh, put yourself on the mailing list. Maybe, maybe not. If you will get the reminder, right? In this reminder, I will include the run file and you will have the whole thing included in the virtual machines. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, but so now, that's what my plan is during the week to do to the work on my own machine so it's easier and I don't mm -hmm. get anything destroyed and then move and then right before the class, set it up. Yes, yes. And I don't find it too onerous to set it up every time. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's good practice. But let's go through what I'm setting up. It's the very first level. And it says that you need to install Anaconda with GUI install because it requires no knowledge, just additional few minutes of your time. When you are done installing this, you will pick up this command. I'm picking up this command and copying it. Okay, so I've done this, but now I need to perform this command on my virtual machine. Where is my virtual machine? It's right here. 
Now, I won't be able to paste it in there, but instead I will be able to click here. And that's a copy paste board. So here I will be able to Where is my clipboard? Right here. So I can paste this command right here. And now that I think is pasted on the command right here. So now after I've done this, I can paste it right here and it will probably work. Yes, it did. And well, it didn't do it. Now, does it know where is Python? It still doesn't know where is Python. Meanwhile, it promised me that that will be Python is Python 3. Okay, we'll, we'll figure out why that didn't work. I'll do it later. That's a good idea to verify everything before. Now, let's go and look at our lab, the one that we're doing. Okay, we were right here. Hey, normal site. So, yes. Uh, Python 3 is installed already. So Python 3 is installed, but Python doesn't know that it should be called Python 3. So it still doesn't want to do Python. Uh, if, if you type Python 3, but I want to type Python. Oh, okay. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, okay. But if you help me the other way around, how can I type Python so it would know to call Python 3? Because my next command here on my lab is this. And I suspect it, it wouldn't do this. We can try. Wait a second, if you gotta try to, I think it's pip three, if you wanted to try it with Python. Okay, okay, maybe that, right? And yeah, just, I really just double check to, that, but I think it is. I really want to be normal, but let me try to, to, to verify that. Uh, hey Mark, sorry for jumping in. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a package that you can install on Ubuntu that would convert Python 3 to- uh, Exactly, Python. and I thought I was installing this package. But yeah, I, I'll would... put it in the chat for everyone to follow. Okay. Oh, good. The chat is disabled for me, so- Chat is it disabled for you? Uh, yes, so I'll, I'll put it in the Q&A so you can share it with everyone. Okay, okay I'm watching q &A. Okay, Farshid, he gave me that. Let me try that to see if that works. Copy, and I thought that's exactly what I did. That was what I did, didn't I? It's strange because it worked for everybody in the previous class. I've been checking Google for the past year and I still haven't found anything about it. I mean, I haven't found anything about the reason for it yet. Okay, yeah, uh, don't forget to actually uh, run update. Oh. Uh, if you want me, I can share my screen to show you how to, how to install it. No, I think what I'm saying is it's it's installed it. I just okay, so need, you need to, to open another screen. screen. Wait a second, let me close that. So uh, sudo to get update first to update the oh. repository. Okay, I see, I hear what you're saying. By the way, that's how you get to the terminal. You do this XFCE terminal, and that already should have Python. If not, I will update just like you. You see, I was uh, panicking too early. That command does replace Python and all I have to do is uh, open another terminal. Okay. 
Well, if we're right here, and I'm sure that you guys are going to do something when we're not present. By the way, email me any question. But uh, what we were looking at is what do, is next? This is what is next. You copy this and you put it into the copy paste. This. Now I can. Yeah, don't forget to. Put the, yeah, don't forget to put the three there if you want to use Python three for pip three. No, because I already have uh, replaced Python three with Python, and I can say pip and it would work. Great. So that command installs all of the Huggy face. Oh, no worries about any package. It's all there. And if you then go back here, then you will be able to even test it. This is running out of the box. What I'm doing here with this test is I'm saying, Python, please run this. That runs a complete Python command. And the complete Python command includes import pipeline. That is the major object you will be dealing with. And then right away, it says print. What do you print? You create Python pipeline, and then you tell what kind of pipeline. This is a sentiment analysis pipeline. And then you give it a sentence to analyze. And I, I never stop repeating this word magic because it magically installed everything and already runs sentiment analysis. So if I copy this and run it here, And now run it here. It's downloading the existing model. It knows that I love you is very positive statement. The light lama would say that's the most important statement to state. So again, face knows that too. It says that is positive with the 99% accuracy. So amazingly enough, we were able to go through, I think that everybody who wanted could follow that. And uh, we did the first lab. Now I will look at the questions and answers, uh, but those people who have to run, uh, keep in mind that uh, I'll keep this machines. I saw the need. So we'll keep them running for at least an hour. Okay. So questions that we had, how do you access the Google Drive? That I think was answered. The Mac that given you problem also answered. So now you know how to access. Uh, uh, Steven is asking a very uh, deep question. XX multi-language model performance. By performance, you don't mean speed, you probably mean quality. I also found that first of all, you need additional things to set up and secondly yes not every language is the same in every model so that's what i found practically yes i agree but i hope we'll come to more uh, detailed investigation on that Stephen. okay narges You got the machine and we'll be doing it again and again. So now I didn't give you the voice, I'm sorry. Okay, more or less uh, uh, I answered all the questions. So what I plan to do next time is quickly review what we've done uh, this time. I think I, it was great. I will review it myself uh, to, to glean all the necessary fixes for the next time. So yes, I am honest about polishing the course as we go, but I also will do it for you and uh, you will be able to at least go that far next time. And of course, the next uh, class will be using individual parts of the labs to show one piece at a time how you can do more than just uh, uh, 
and sentiment analysis. We'll, we'll try many things in the next hour. I hope that we will do at least half of those tasks. We will also probably review some of the theory. So that's the plan for next time. Okay, I see something. Oh, it, it's, uh, it's welcoming me, I think. Yes. So great, uh, I think that was all the questions. Let me look in the chat. I was the only one typing here. So I think we'll have to part for today. And uh, thank you very much. You have the mentions for a while. You have all the pointers, you have all the class, you have the links. You in fact could go through the whole thing yourself and uh, share your experiences next time. So thank you very much. All right, goodbye. Saying goodbye and wishing you a great week. Bye, thank you. Thanks. Thank you, goodbye. Uh, bye, thank you. Goodbye.